Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex and the topic for this video is sexual speed, sexual intensity and sexual rhythm. You can engage into tantric sex with different levels of intensity. You could uh, be having sex like seven, eight hours every day for an extended period of time. Uh, is that sustainable? in with your modern lifestyle unless you are on holidays or on a retreat somewhere and you have nothing else to do uh, that's going to be challenging of course so um, do you need to run a marathon or do you need to go just for a jog every day you know the when it comes to tantric sex very often what makes it uh, juicy and exciting and sustainable on the long term is the fact that there are um, you know targeted doses of sexual activation every day and um, those sessions i would say that the ideal time for a session is maybe one hour every day and uh, so for instance if you are having activations sexual activation tantric sex activations and you do that in a conscious way uh, it might sometimes require a little bit discipline rather than just being spontaneous if you are doing that as a spiritual practice and really engaging into a conscious tantric sex exchange then uh, because you're engaging with with a certain discipline and a certain structure it's good also to take a break and uh, to enter into free flow mode for instance in the weekend when the weekend comes and to drop any form of of discipline um, in uh, in my experience it's also very important even when you are going tantric to really give uh, space for spontaneity playfulness and not to lose this sense of innocence that is connected and associated with with uh, sex in general you uh, you want to play you want to engage you want to be from a place of uh, using your creative power rather than just a disciplined uh, structure with very specific and given techniques uh, the spontaneity and the fun and the play, the free flow are, are definitely important to that. So don't rigidify fight too much when it comes to your tantric sex practice, even though a certain given discipline will be very powerful in enhancing, developing your samadhi or bliss zone and taking you to whole new levels of, of consciousness. Of course, this is there and it might be triggered by the fact that there is a certain degree of... Um, of discipline, tantric sex discipline in your life. Um, the other idea is that you want to have um, a way of engaging uh, sexually which is really sustainable on the long term without major effort. So when anything, any aspect of your life is really based on willpower and trying to force things, then usually you can sustain a practice for maybe a month, two months, three months. After that, you run out of willpower or there is some conflict rising where you might uh, disengage. If you are very busy and uh, you, know, you have children, you sometimes don't have that much privacy, um, even having like a 15 minute connection with your lover or your partner can really bring uh, a quality in your life that is extremely uh, powerful and uh, uplifts your level of joy, happiness and, and energy. Um, it is a little bit like with physical training, you know, if you cannot go for, it, for a one hour jog or one hour at the gym, just put your jogging shoes and go around the block for 15 minutes and that's sometimes all it takes to stay in good shape. So the same with uh, you know, sexual fitness, it's something that you can maintain with uh, relatively small doses. You don't need to have like three hours sessions uh, every second day. It can be much simpler than that. You know, you wake up in the morning, you just have half an hour, you focus on it and you engage uh, in it either from a place of spontaneous playfulness or add a little bit of structure if you are both open for it. So you see, we're talking really about uh, different levels of intensity, different levels of speed, uh, the rhythm as well, so that you have a really, uh, you know, cycle. Every day there is a little bit of, of sexual energy coming in your system rather than having a big blast, a big boost on, on Monday and then ejaculating, losing semen, big orgasm, and then you don't touch each other like for a week until the, the, the fire rises again and then you decide to engage again. So. Um, 
yeah keep that in mind when you are designing your your sex life you have different rhythms different variations different possibilities and sometimes it's a fine tuning into those variations that is going to give you a higher level of satisfaction enjoy <laughs>